In this section, we'll define what a function is and get acquainted to the terminologies involved in functions. Let's begin with the definition of a function by reading this together. A function f from a set x to a set y displays a relation between elements of x called the inputs and elements of y called the outputs, where each input is related to one and only one output. In pictorial form, what this is trying to say is that if x and y are finite sets, we can define a function f from input x to output y by first listing out the elements in x and listing out the elements in y, and then drawing an arrow from each element in x to correspond to some elements in y. This is called the arrow diagram. Now in this definition, the keyword here are each input is related to one and only one output. So when does it qualify to be a function? To qualify as a function, we need to check that each and every input, which means everything here, must have exactly one output or one arrow pointing out of it. To disprove that a relation is a function, we need to find a counterexample, such that either you find an input that does not have an output at all, or you find an input that has more than one output. So, for example, if we take away one arrow here, then this input would have no arrow pointing out of it. Then this relation is not a function. Now reset everything. A second type of counterexample would be where we add one more arrow here. Then this input would have two arrows pointing out of it. Then this relation is not a function. Now for some terminologies and notations. Instead of saying a function f from a set x to a set y, we use the shorthand notation f colon capital X to capital Y. Also, X is called the domain of F, and Y is called the codomain of F. So in this example, the domain of F, which is equal to capital X, can be listed out as the set of elements x1, x2, and x3. And the codomain of F, which is equal to capital Y, can be listed out as the set of elements y1, y2, y3, y4, and y5. If we are given a particular element, say little x1, in the domain, and by following the arrow, we should be able to find a particular element little y2 in the codomain such that y2 is equal to f of x1. We say that the image of little x1 is equal to little y2, or f of x1. In a similar fashion, we should be able to obtain the image of x2 and x3. So in general, given any generic element little x in the domain capital X, if there is a unique output element little y in the codomain capital Y, related to x by f, then y is the image of x under f, and we denote it by f of x. If we pick up only the y's that have arrows pointing towards them, then we get a set of all value of f of x, or a set of all images, and we call this set the range of f. In this example, the range of f is equal to the set of y1 and y2. In general, the range of f equals to the set of little y belonging to the codomain capital Y such that y is equal to f of x for some little x in the domain capital X. What about y3, y4, and y5? Well, they are not images of anyone so they are not part of the range. Nevertheless, they still belong to the codomain. 
if we are given a particular element in the codomain, say little y2, if we look at things from the point of view of little y2, then by following the first arrow in the reverse direction, we should be able to find little x1, such that f of x1 is equal to y2. And by following the second arrow in the reverse direction, we should be able to find little x3, such that f of x3 is equal to y2. We say that the inverse image of y2 is equal to the set of x1 and x3. In general, given an element little y in the codomain capital Y, if there exists some elements in the domain x such that f of x is equal to y, then x is called a pre-image or an inverse image of y. In summary, a function f from a set x to a set y relates elements from input x to elements in output y. To qualify as a function, each input in x is related to one and only one output in y. So each input can have only one arrow pointing to one output, not more, not less. The domain of f is the set of all elements in x. The codomain of f is the set of all elements in y. To get the image of an element in domain x, we should follow the arrow from x and go towards the element in codomain y such that y is equal to f of x. To get the range of f, simply pick up the elements in the codomain y that have an arrow pointing at it, or are images of some elements in domain x. To get the inverse image of an element in codomain y, we should follow the arrow in the reverse direction so as to find the set of element in domain x such that f of x is equal to y.